Now, cancer is one of the leading causes of death here in South Korea. While many different treatments have been developed over the past eight years, that there's still no total cure for the disease, leaving even treated patients at risk of their cancer returning. Recently, though, a new type of anti-cancer treatment has been developed that uses a virus to destroy cancer cells, which greatly lowers the risk of recurrence. Eun Jin reports. CAR T cell therapy is where immune cells are made to find and destroy cancer cells. While this type of treatment can help treat some types of cancer, for some cancer patients, there remains a high risk of recurrence. On the surface of cancer cells, there's a biomarker called CD19, which acts as a target for cancer therapy. But this is eliminated in the initial CAR T cell therapy process, leading to recurrence. To address this limitation, a new type of CAR-T cancer therapy targets two different biomarkers. Cancer cells that don't have the CD19 or the CD22 biomarkers, one solution is if a CAR-T cell treatment is developed that can target both such markers, it would increase the cancer cells' reactions. A Korean research team has recently completed a patent application for this type of CAR-T treatment and is ready to start human clinical trials. Another research team is developing an anti-cancer virus treatment, which uses viruses to destroy cancer cells. This virus treatment method alters the genes inside the T cells to help them attack the cancer. The virus contains genes that trigger the treatment. As the treatment gene inside causes the anti-cancer virus cells to multiply, other internal genes also multiply. This leads to production of high concentrations of therapeutic protein within the cancer cells. The research team plans to apply for clinical trials both in the United States and in Korea this coming August. As these new anti-cancer methods and technology get developed, there is hope we can speed up the fight against cancer. Ian Jin, Arirang News.